Hey, Dan, can I play with this bop it? Sure, Jeffy. I score five. Bop it. Ow! Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Bop it. Ow. Give me that goddamn thing. Hey, you lost, Danny. He never said throw it. Oh, I want to kill you, Jeffy. Ah, help me! Ah, answer the door! Answer the door! Screw this! There's someone at the door, Marvin. Duh! <laughs> Hello? Please, hide me! I can't do this anymore! Hide you from who? From Goodman! I don't want to work for him anymore! He treats me so badly! So I stole his car and ran away! You stole his car? Yes, so please, hide me! Oh, come, come inside! Who's at the door, Marvin? This is old man, I gotta hide him! Yes, hide me, please! Who is he? Don't ask questions! Uh, hide behind here! Oh, crap, breathe! Yeah, that looks good. What's going on? Uh, oh no, that must be Goodman! Don't tell him I'm here! Uh, Hello? Where is he? Where's his old ass? Who are you talking about? Don't you bullshit me, Marvin! I'm talking about Chuck! He stole my Lamborghini and parked it out front! Wait, your Lamborghini's here? Marvin, don't you bullshit me! I swear to God, you better tell me where it is or I'm gonna give you a spanking! I don't know where he's at. <laughs> Alright, Marvin, I'll give you $10,000 if you tell me where he is. He's behind the couch cushion. You don't give him goddamn 10 grand! I'm gonna go upstairs and give him a spanking with it! Hmm, I wonder where Chives is. Aha! Oh, there you found me! Oh, 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 stop hitting him! You stay out of this, Marvin! This is between me and Chives! Now, Chives, bend that ass over! It's spanking time! Yes, sir. This is for running away! <laughs> this is for stealing my Lamborghini! <laughs> and this is for being old! <laughs> stop spanking him! He likes it! I don't like it, sir, and I don't like you! You're just on your butler period! Men don't get periods, sir! It's 2023! Yes, they do! I don't like the way you treat me! You don't like the way I treat you? I gave you a room under the staircase like Harry Potter! Everyone likes Harry Potter! You know what? I quit! <gasps> you can't quit! You're poor! Who else is gonna hire an 80 year old man to wipe their ass? Only me! Plus, you get to shave my balls! That's an honor, Chives! I don't want to do that anymore! Well then I can't do this anymore. I can't have a butler that doesn't want to wipe my ass or shave my balls. You know what? Fine. If you want to quit, quit. But you'll never see money like this ever again! <sighs> smells like your ass, Chives. And I'm gonna go spend it, so I never have to smell your ass ever again! That was very brave of you to stand up to Mr. Goodman like that. But now I have no job! I'll be homeless! Well, Marvin, we could use some help around the house. Really? So you'll hire me then? Well, we don't have any extra money. How much was Goodman paying you? He was paying me nothing. He just let me sleep in a broom closet underneath the stairs. Then why'd you work for him for so long? Because he paid my entire family $20 million each to never speak to me again, so I had nowhere else to go. That's so sad. Well, look, we can't really pay you right now, but we have a bed for you to sleep in. A bed? What an upgrade! I used to have to sleep in a litter box underneath the stairs, so I'll take the job. Now, let's go get those balls shaved, sir. No. You don't have to shave my balls. What, what? So, do you have to take a poop soon? Shall I wipe your bum with my bare hand? No, you don't have to do that either. Well, then what am I supposed to do? Well, go do butler things. Go clean the house. <gasps> Shall I mop the floor with my tongue, sir? No, you can use a mop. <gasps> How generous! Shall I fill the bucket with my spit, or am I allowed to use water? You can use water. Wow. Hey, Danny, I found my bop it. Oh, that's what you could do. You could go play with Jeffy. I'm not sure I know what the word play means, sir. We can go have fun. I don't think I know what that one means either. Well, go smile and laugh. I haven't smiled in years. Jeffy, go show him a fun time. All right, come on, old man. Okay. Okay, see, look, he can start babysitting Jeffy. Don't touch the sides. No, I hate this game! Hey, Junior! Check out my pet old man! I am not his pet. I am his butler. Hi. Hello, sir. Jeffy, you want to play Operation with me? That's lame. We can just operate on him. But I don't believe you two are qualified doctor. Shut up and lay right here! Very well, sir. All right, Junior. Take his eye. Well, not my eye. I need those to see. Ow! How about we play something else? All right, well, how about throw, throw, burrito? Well, how do you play that game? Well, we take these burritos and throw them at you. Ow! 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 Is there anything else we can play? <gasps> we can play stair tag. Ooh, is that, like, tag, but you can't blink? No, come here, stair tag. All right. So there's the stairs. Now tag! Ow! Ooh, ooh, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. 
Hey, Danny, I broke my new old friend. What'd you do? We were playing stair tag. What stair tag? Come on, I'll show you. Don't do it. He's going to push you down the stairs. You pushed him down the stairs, Jeffy. Jeffy, we told you not to do that to people anymore. Well, guess what? I'm going to keep fucking doing it. What, Jeffy? No. No. Stop it. Bad. What is he doing? He's smacking his diaper. But why does he have a diaper? Isn't he grown? It's in case I poop my pants. But then won't your pants get dirty? No, because I'm wearing a diaper. But your diaper's on the outside of your pants. Yeah, so it doesn't get dirty. He's not making any sense. He never does. Jeffy, just go run around. Okay. Okay, so listen, you don't have to play with him anymore. Thank God. But how about you just go make us something to eat? Ooh, shall I cook you some peppercorn for les mignon medium rare with a loaded baked potato? Ooh. No, we don't have that kind of money. How about you just make us a bologna sandwich? What is bologna? Ooh, is that peasant food? Yeah. Yes, it is. So go make us two bologna sandwiches. Very well, sir. I like having a butler. Mm-mm-mm, my -mm -mm, mystery pasta's almost done. Wait, what the hell? Wait, who's that in my kitchen? Hey, get out of my refrigerator! Not in Pippi's kitchen! Get out of here! Now, where is that baloney? Hey, bitch! Excuse me? Nah, ho, what you doing going in my refrigerator? Master Marvin told me to make him a sandwich. Nah, nah, I'm the only chef in this kitchen! This is my kitchen! This is Pippi's kitchen! Why are you barking at me? I'm just trying to make a baloney sandwich for Master Marvin, so could you please show me where the baloney is? Oh, I'll show you! The baloney right here! Oh, why did you punch me? Because you in my turn! You don't need to be going to my refrigerator without my permission! Look, I'm not looking to fight! Oh, well, I am! Ugh. Ugh. Oh, so you want to play dirty then, do you? Well, I'll show you dirty! On guard! Uh, uh. You sure you want this shit? Are you sure you want this shit? You close to your casket, old man! Uh. Oh, yeah, you want to play dirty, huh? Oh, you filthy whore! Uh, uh, uh. Your father was a hamster, and your mother smelt of elderberries! Don't talk about my mama like that when I had your mama in the bed with me last night! No! Please, have mercy! Oh, hell no! Nah. Uh. Hey, Marvin, here's your bitch. Yeah, he thought he was running shit. T got ran over. So, woo! What happened? I asked him where the balloon he was. What? Yes, apparently that's his turf, so he beat my ass. He does not own the kitchen. Look, can you just go down to the fridge and grab me a Lunchable? No, that's his fridge. I won't go back down there. Okay, so you can't cook. You can't play with Jeffy. I'm trying to think of something you can do. Hey, Mommy. Hey, Daddy. I took a massive dump in the toilet, and it clogged it, but I still had to keep pooping, so I took the lid off the back of the toilet and pooped in there, and then every time I flushed it, it kept putting more poop back into the toilet, and then eventually overflowed onto the floor, and I thought I was going to be helpful and get a mop and clean it up, but every time I did that, it kept smearing it and smearing it and smearing it and smearing it and smearing it, and I still had to go poop, so I pooped more in the bathtub. Oh, that's what you can do. You can go clean that mess. Oh, great. How riveting. Thank you. Someone's at the door, Marvin. I hear it. You act like I don't have ears. I heard it. Jeffy, you heard it? Mm -hmm. I heard it. Hello? Hello, Mr. Marvin. What's going on? I'm Mr. Gomez maid, but me know what to work for him no more. And I heard that you hired Mr. Chai, so I was wondering if maybe you could hire me too. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't hire Mr. Chives. I just gave him a place to stay. Please, please, I promise that you hire me. I'll thank you like every single day. I'll thank you until my jog is tired. And even if my jog is too tired, you can still use any of my other thank you hearts. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen. Just come inside. Oh, you can do that too in any of my thank you hearts. Oh, no, 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 none of that. No, no saying thank you. Just come inside and let's, let's talk to my wife. Okay. Who is at the door, Marvin? My name Patricia, but Mr. Goodman give me very many nicknames like Jimmy Changa, Quesadilla, Burrito, Taco Bell, and Stupid Hall. The list goes on and on. This is Mr. Goodman's maid. Well, what is she doing here? She wants a job because she thinks we hired chives. But Marvin, we can't pay her. Let me explain that to her. If we hire you, we won't be able to pay you money. You know I speak English, right? You don't have to speak so slow. Listen, we won't be able to pay you. We're just letting Chai stay here. That's okay. Mr. Goodman don't pay me either. Then why do you work for him? Because I'm a citizen, and Mr. Goodman threatened to have me deported unless I thank him. So, if you let me stay here, I'll thank you, like, all the time. Like, if you're stressed out, let me thank you. If you're riding in your car, let me thank you. If your wife no thank you, let me thank you. What does thank you mean? Oh, it means I like to say... Hey, it means she likes to say thank you. 
See, sometimes Mr. Goodman made me thank him so much, my throat get very sore. Oh, from saying it over and over again? No, from the Jar Welcome Juice. Uh, listen, I feel really bad for, maybe we should let her stay here for a few days. <gasps> You're going to let me stay? Let me thank you. No, 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 do that. Okay. What is going on? By the way, how long is your Jar Welcome stick? Because Mr. Goodman is like really big, like at least 14 inches. What is she talking about? I don't know. <laughs> Oh no! Please, please! If it's Mr. Gumi, don't let him find me! I'm going to hide! Uh, hold on. Hello? Where is she? Where the hell is Quesadilla? And don't you dare lie to me like you did last time! <sighs> she's upstairs. She didn't think you, did she? Because if she did, that would ruin her to me! No, but she's offered a lot. Ooh, I'm coming in! Now where's Chimichanga? Don't look behind the couch cushion! Chimichanga not here right now! God, you're so dumb. Oh no! You found me! Don't let me thank you. Why did you run away, Taco Salad? I thought I treated you great. You made me thank you so much, my frog is very sore. And you call me me names. Well, I'm sorry, Nachos Belgrande. It's just so hard for me to remember your name. My name Patricia. All right, Pico de Gallo, I'll try harder next time. Goodman, don't you think if you respected your workers, they'd want to work for you? I'm rich. I don't know how poor people think. Well, maybe if you paid them, they'd want to work for you. Pay them, like, money? But then I'd have less of it. Well, listen, listen. What if I asked you to make me a sandwich? No! Okay, now what if I said I'll give you a thousand dollars to make me a sandwich? Yes! See? See how money made you want to do it? Huh. Yeah, money did make me want to make you a sandwich. So you're telling me that if I pay my employees, that they'll actually want to work for me? Hmm. All right. Well, I guess, Churro, I'll pay you ten dollars an hour. Oh! Thank you. Go wait in the car. I'll be there in a minute, and then you can thank me as much as you want. See. Si. Now where's Chives? He's cleaning the bathroom. All right, I'm gonna give him some money too. Ugh, disgusting! That was the most fecal matter I've ever seen. Hey, Chives. Oh, sir, what are you doing here? I came to give you a spanking. Ah! Ah! I'm just kidding. I've been thinking about it, Chives, and my balls need to be shaved because there's a little bit of peach fuzz on them. I told you I wouldn't do that anymore, sir. Well, I'm willing to pay you five dollars an hour. <gasps> but. But sir, that's so much money! How will you afford it? I don't know. I'll probably have to sell a couple cars, or live on the side of the road, or maybe we'll even rent out your little Harry Potter closet. <gasps> Thank you so much, sir! Now let's go get those balls shaved! Alright, but you're driving because Sour Cream's gotta thank me, so come on. Very well, sir. Marvin, you did some good today. You got two people back their jobs with pay! Yeah, but no one thanked me. Well, let me thank you. <laughs> Brooklyn guy, it's your turn. Ugh, I hate this game. It's so unrealistic. I'm a police officer and it says I make $50,000 a year, but I don't make anywhere near that much in real life. Well, I'm a film star and I make $100,000 a year, but I'm a different kind of film star. Ugh, I'm <laughs> just gonna spin. Oh, you got a nine! Brooklyn guy, you got a nine! Yeah, thank you, Jonathan. I can see that. Wait, Karen, where's your girl piece? It's not in the car. I was just there a second ago. Oh, Karen's in my car. Front seat. What? Jesus, Jonathan, why do you have so many women in your car? That's because it's just like real life, looking guy. Those are all my girlfriends, but don't you worry. I'll take real good care of her. Ugh, Jonathan, just take your stupid turn. Okay. Ooh, a ten! Just like you, Karen. Action space! Action space, everybody! Switch lives with the other player. You heard it here, Brooklyn guy. I get you bang your wife. What? That's not what the card says. Brooklyn guy, this is what the game says. Play your game! Jonathan, you wouldn't last a day in my life. I have to actually work instead of just staying at home and playing video games all day. I have to work, too. I have to take my medicine every day. And I have to rub mom's bunions. And sometimes, when I eat hot Cheetos, the dust is all over my fingers. And then it gets on my keyboard. Wow, what a terrible life. Hey, would you look at the time? It's 10.30. Karen, we gotta go to bed. I have work in the morning. But I didn't bring my pajamas. Ooh, I'll go commando. Don't worry, he bites. No, you're going home because you can't stay here. Yo, okay. And actually leave this time. Don't just hide the pantry like before. Yo, that was only once. Come on, Karen.
Ugh, tonight sucked. Boiny, I think it's nice that you invited your brother to game night. I didn't invite him. We found him rummaging through the garbage like a raccoon with a GoPro on his head because he was looking for your used underwear. Boiny, you need to spend more time with your family. I hate my family. Do you want to fool around? No, Karen, I have to be up at 5 a.m. You never want to fool around anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, world. Uh, so, Nami, how sorry you after last night. I didn't break you, did I? Oh, good morning, boy, day. Karen, what are you doing in my bed? Wait, this isn't my bed. Where are all my stains? Boydie, why are you being weird? Wait, you keep calling me Boydie. I'm Jonathan. Boydie, you're late for what? Hold on. What is going on? I'm... I'm... You clean guy? But how? We we must have switched bodies from your board game. But if I'm in Brooklyn guy's body, then that means Karen. <gasps> Boyney, are you okay? Oh, trust me, I've never been better. So since we're like married <laughs> and you're my wife, can we like do stuff? But Boyney, aren't you gonna be late for work? Screw work! I'm about to go to Work. Boydie, it's been a while. Oh, trust me. It's gonna be a while. Oh, Boydie. Let me close the door. Whoa, Boydie, five times? Yeah, I kept thinking of my mom. Whatever it is, it's working. I'm so glad I'm in Brooklyn guy's body. He's way bigger than me. What? Huh? What's that? That's your phone, Boydie. Oh, Brooklyn guy's phone. I mean... My phone, because I'm Brooklyn guy, and I should answer his phone. My phone. Hello? Guy, where the hell are you? You're six hours late for work. Who's this? It's your boss, the chief of police. Oh, I forgot I'm a police officer. Well, you're not going to be for much longer if you don't get your ass into work. Aye, aye, Captain. Who was that, Boydy? He was my boss. He wants me to come to work. Oh, okay, Boydy. But I don't want to go. I was having so much fun. We can have more fun later, Boydy. <laughs> okay. Daddy's got to go to work. Oh, yes, Daddy. Uh, uh, that's number six. See you later. <sighs> what? Karen, why do you have you use tissues all over me? Ugh. Oh God! Why are there so many? <laughs> and what? Why are they salty? What, K K K Karen? Wait, whoa! 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 What room is this? Th this isn't my house. What? Karen? K what? What? Hot anime dolls? What? What? What is happening? What? Oh no! Oh no! 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 <laughs> no! 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 I'm Jonathan. No, this can't be happening. No, this is a bad dream. That's what it is. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Damn it! No! Oh God! Okay, okay, I'm not gonna freak out. Okay, okay, well, let's think. What? How did this happen? Uh, okay, we played the game of life, and then I went to bed. Oh no! It was that card. It said we would switch lives. Oh damn it! Okay, okay, okay. Keep calm. All I have to do is, is call Karen, and then we'll figure this out. What? Why is Jonathan calling me? Hello, Jonathan. Karen, don't hang up. You say that every time, Jonathan. You know Boyne doesn't like us talking. But no, Karen, it's not Jonathan. It's me, Brooklyn guy. Oh, no, I'm not falling for that one again. But again? What do you mean again? The last time you said you were Boyne, it's because you wanted me to send you a nude. What, what you did? Yes, me and Minnie Mouse is. What, you didn't tell me this? What the hell, Minnie Mouse is? Okay, look, that's not why I'm calling. Look, me and Jonathan switched bodies. Oh, no, you're not going to get me with that one either. What, he's tried this before? No, J Karen, it's really me. It's Brooklyn. Guy. Bye, Jonathan. No, don't hang up with... Oh, God, this sucks. Karen doesn't believe me. Oh, and that explains the tissues. Ew. Oh, oh God, they were in my mouth. <laughs> Jonathan, Bobby's here. Uh, Mom, uh, don't come in. Oh, God, clean this one. All right, Jonathan. I got your breakfast right here. I slaved over a hot stove. It's laced potato chips and sour cream. I ate a little bit of them on the way in here. And also your Flintstone vitamins so you can grow up and be a big, strong man. But I'm 30 years old, Mom. But you'll always be my baby boy, won't you? Unlike your older brother, Brookie, that piece of shit. Now let's say the I hate Brookie pledge. Raise your hand. What, I... Raise your hand, goddammit! Uh... Now repeat after me. I hate Brookie. I, uh... That good-for-nothing piece of shit doesn't even love his own mother? Wanted to leave my house for some skank and start a family. Whatever. Amen. 
But you won't leave me, will you, baby boy? You are my precious little baby boy. That piece of shit doesn't even know where he wants to be. He can't even make up his own mind. Brookie's a failure. He's, he's a cop and a doctor. Can't even make up his own damn mind. What a shame. But you know exactly what you want to be. You want to be mommy's baby boy forever. Let me pinch them chicks. Tickle fight, tickle fight, tickle fight. Get, get away from me. What, you don't like your tickle fights no more? No, I'm just, I'm not in the mood today. But you always love your tickle fights. Well, not today. I'm just I'm not in the mood. All right. Well, you know what I want you to do? I want you to run down to the market and get me a pack of Marlboro Blacks and a six pack of Natural Light and also some bunion cream and come down and rub me down because I've had a rough day. Okay. I need to get the hell out of here. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm going to call my old phone and see if Jonathan answers. Come on. Answer. Answer. You're mean now. Just answer my phone. Hello, 911. This is Officer Brooklyn guy. What's your emergency? But Jonathan, you don't answer your cell phone as a 911 operator. It's your phone. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Who is this? It's your brother. Oh, my younger brother, Jonathan. How are you enjoying your miserable life? Well, I did wake up in a pile of tissues. Oh, well, that's funny. I woke up next to a hot babe. Yeah, well, I woke up next to six dolls. Don't touch them, especially Nami. Wait, which one is Nami? The redhead. She's a virgin. Yeah, you know, I doubt that. Wait, wait, does that mean the rest of them aren't? Well, what I do with my dolls is no one else's business. Well, I guess it is your business now, since you're me. <laughs> you see the one with her legs up in the air? Uh, yeah. Freak. Uh, wait, okay, look, Mom just brought you your breakfast of Lay's potato chips and sour cream? Oh, she did? That's my favorite breakfast. That's not breakfast. Your cholesterol must be insane. D well, did she bring the Flintstone vitamins too? Yeah. Well, just take that. It counteracts the cholesterol. I don't think it works like that, but look, I, that's, that's not why I'm calling. I want my body back. Oh, I don't think that's gonna happen, Brooklyn guy. You see, I'm better at being you than you. Ask your wife. No, you did not touch her! You know what I really like, Brooklyn guy? The tattoo of the butterfly above her left butt cheek. But how do you know about that? <laughs> well, anyway, I gotta get back to work. The police is really riding my butt. You know, I gotta support this hot wife, Sia. No, don't you hang up with- Oh, that is it. I am going to my house! Daddy, are you home early from work? What, Daddy? Jonathan, what are you doing in here? No, Karen, it's not Jonathan. I'm Brooklyn guy. Jonathan, get out of this house. What, no, Karen, please, just listen to me. I know it sounds crazy, but I think me and Jonathan switched bodies. We were playing the game of life last night, and we got that card about switching lives, and I think we did. Jonathan, if you don't get out of this house, I'm going to be forced to call the cops. Uh, don't, don't, don't call the cops. Wait, wait. Yes, call the cops. I need to talk to him. Okay, I warned you. I'm going to call the cops. Hey there, somebody called a cop? Boiny, your brother won't leave. Who let my little wiener brother in here? But Jonathan, you know we switched bodies. Oh, what's wrong? You're gonna go into the mirror and cry about how small your wiener is like you do every morning? Or maybe you're tired of peeing your bed every night? But Jonathan, you're just telling on yourself. N -n uh Then why are you answering to Jonathan? Ch I'm not! Baby, you want me to get rid of this fool? Yes, Daddy. Uh. And since when did she call uh. me Daddy? She calls me Daddy. Cause I know how to please a woman. Wait, so you and my wife? Oh yeah. Okay, that's it, we're fighting. You can't hit me, I'm a cop. <laughs> ow, ow, no, ow, ow, uncle, uncle, we switch bodies. We what? Bodies. We played a game last night, let's do the card and we switch bodies. That means Jonathan and I, <laughs> oh, Okay, oh, yeah. that's it, that's it, we are changing back. Oh, I was having fun though. No, we are changing back, I just don't know how to do it. Uh, I know how. No, Jonathan, we're not playing another game. With this card, all I have to do is put it down and then we reverse back into each other's bodies. Uno reverse. Nothing's happening, Jonathan. Switch bodies back. Not working. Oh, well, looks like me and Karen have some stuff to do in the bedroom. Let's go, Karen. Karen? Before we switch back, I gotta do something real quick. No, Jonathan. What, what? I'm back in my own body, baby. It's me. No, Jonathan, I'm not falling for it. I'm gonna go back to my husband until you switch bodies back. But no, no, it's really me this time. <laughs> oh, man. Now I'm back in my stupid psoriasis covered body. Boy, I'm gonna be with you forever until you switch back. Uh, uh, yeah, until we switch back bodies, that might take a long time. Karen, no, really, it's me. We switched bodies back. Uh, no, we didn't. What? Oh, hello. hello. Okay, okay, back. okay, we switched back. We switched back.
costumes are so cute. Jeffy's the cat in the hat and we're thing one and thing two. And thing three is in my pants. I'm just tired of Halloween already. It's my winner. Marvin, don't say that. Halloween's amazing. You get to dress up in costumes, you get to carve pumpkins, and you get to go trick-or-treating. Cat penis. Jeffy, stop it. Well, Danny, what does a cat wiener look like? I don't know. I'm gonna Google it. Listen, I'm just, I'm tired of Halloween. Like, you dress up in costumes every year. It's so shot. I don't wanna look at a cat wiener, Jeffy. Why is it bigger than mine? Put your phone away, Jeffy. Okay, so what, do, what does everyone want to do for Halloween? Well, I think since I'm dressed up as the cat in the hat, I should try to rhyme every time I talk. Okay, uh, what's your favorite candy? Reese's Pieces. Um, what's your favorite part about Halloween? Reese's Pieces. You can't say Reese's Pieces to everything, Jeffy. Uh, what's your favorite color? Reese's Pieces. But that's not a color! Marvin, maybe he's saying he likes the color orange and brown. And yellow, pillow. Yellow and pillow don't rhyme, Jeffy. Yes, it does, Santa Claus. What the, that doesn't rhyme. Okay, look, I'm gonna stop getting so mad about your stupid costume and in the rhymes. All right, listen, so what are we gonna do first? Let's carve pumpkins. What's carve pumpkins? I asked. What's carve pumpkins? But you can't rhyme your first sentence with your... <sighs> We're gonna go carve pumpkins, Jeffy, come on. Okay, Jeffy, you're gonna carve this big pumpkin right here. And I'm gonna carve this tiny one. If my wiener was your pumpkin, it'd be the tiny one. That didn't rhyme, Jeffy. Reese's Pieces. You can't end every sentence with Reese's Pieces. That doesn't count. Well, rhyming's too hard, so I give up. Okay, look, let's just carve this pumpkin. What does carve pumpkin mean? Uh, baby, show them what it means. Okay, you take a knife, and then you stab your pumpkin like this. Ah! You stabbed your baby pumpkin in front of its mommy! You're going to hell! Murderer! Jeffy. Murderer! Yeah, you're supposed to Murderer! Jeffy, you're supposed to do that what carving pumpkins is. Murderer! Come on, Jeffy. You guys killed a baby pumpkin! We were carving- Murderer! That's how you carve pumpkins, Jeffy. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Or should I say, a uh, Jedi? What? Hold on. Damn it, stupid thing. Um, wait, give it a second. It's supposed to light up. Uh, uh, ha, 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 a Jedi? Isn't that sick? Isn't technology amazing? You know, like those Velcro shoes? You don't even have to learn how to tie your shoes. I sure didn't. Anyway, why'd you guys really call me? My parents are murderers! Oh no, were they killing younglings? Yes! That sounds like Sith behavior to me. Ugh. Ow! You, come here. Ugh. Ow! Okay, I took care of them, but what's really going on? Okay, we were carving pumpkins, and we stabbed the baby pumpkin. In front of the mommy pumpkin? What, yeah. Ugh. Ow! Okay, first of all, actually, also, anyway, nevertheless, uh, carving pumpkins is not illegal. We were trying to tell Jeffy that, it's not illegal. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go back home and pass out candy, which is what you should be doing. Ugh. Okay, all right, guys, we're gonna do what the cop said. We're gonna go pass out candy, come on. All right, Jeffy, when you hear the doorbell, you're gonna pass out candy, okay? Okay. There's someone at the door. What, Jeffy, you're supposed to wait for me to open the door. Oh, okay. Trick or treat, ow! What, Jeffy, no, you're supposed to toss the candy in the bag. Oh, okay, let me try again. Well, no, don't give me more candy. Ow! I'm racist, Cups. We don't pass out candy to racist cops. What, what, no, racist cups. All right, look, you got enough candy so you can go. But he didn't put the candy in the bag. Look, just go. Okay. <sighs> okay, Jeffy, I'm gonna pass out candy to the next trick-or-treater because you don't know how to do it. <gasps> There's someone else. Trigglers, trugglers. Your boy, Dougie. You're supposed to say trick or treat. Church is chicken. What? No, no, look, you can't trick or treat at your own house. But I don't want no candy. I want some money. I'm not giving you money. Well, I need the new Coolerist Doodlers. Look, look, look we, you can get that later. Well, I'm the Kool Aid Man. Oh, yeah. Bye, your boy, Dougie. Wait, where's my money? <sighs> okay, look, let's go upstairs and figure out something else because handing out candy's not fun. Okay, we just passed out candy, we carved pumpkins, I'm ready to go to bed. No, Marvin, we still have to go trick-or-treating. Yeah, Danny, I want some candy. Okay, let's hurry up and go trick-or-treating, let's get it over with. Actually, Marvin, I'm tired, I'm gonna stay home. Well, no, if anyone gets to stay home, it's me, I don't wanna go out in the cold. Well, someone has to pass out candy. Well, yeah, Danny, she's got a point. Well, I'll pass out the candy. No, Marvin, you're thing one. Thing two by themselves doesn't make any sense. Yeah, Danny, I got thing two right here, I'm on the roof. Oh, okay, come on, let's just go. Okay, Jeffy, let's hurry up and go trick-or-treating so I can go to bed. <laughs> trick-or-treaters, <ugh>. Hello? <laughs> trick-or-treat, what the fuck? What, Jeffy, don't, don't throw candy at him. Uh, what are you doing here, Goodman? I'm here for your house payment, Marvin. Already? Yeah, because it's the end of the month. Uh, well, me and my son were about to go trick-or-treating. Marvin, do you know what my costume is? You're a horse? Yeah, and in case you're wondering, the carpets do match the drapes. I got a horse cleaner, Marvin. Okay. Yeah, so since you don't have my house payment, I'm taking your candy that you're gonna give out to the kids in your neighborhood. What? So now you look like an asshole. Oh, no, don't, don't do that. Trick or treat. Oh, oh. Come on, Jeffy, let's go. 
Okay, Jeffy, this is the first house. Danny, why do I have a cupcake pan? Because we didn't have any trash bags. Are we poor? Yes. Aww. Ooh, trick or treat. Jeffy, be nice. Hello? Trick or treat, suck my ass. But Jeffy! Oh, what lovely man is. That's the spirit. I'm Count Succula. I can suck anyone off. Yes, you can. I was her first victim before you knocked on the door. Thanks for interrupting. Uh, what are you supposed to be? Oh, I'm Tiger, the rapper. Oh, I thought you were a tigger. Ooh, you one let off from getting the ass whooping, boy. Here you go. Here's some candy. All right, Jeffy, what do you say? Piss off. What, Jeffy? Come on. Oh, Count Succula, I, I think I need to be a victim again. Meow. <laughs> okay, Jeffy, this is the next house. This is not the candy you're looking for. Oh, hey, it's you guys. I guess you came here for the good candy. Well, too bad, because it's all mine, especially the Reese's Pieces. No one can have those. Those are my favorite. Now, Boiny, don't be stingy with your candy. Ugh, this is my wife. She's a mermaid. It has nothing to do with Star Wars. Boiny, you were supposed to be my Prince Eric. Yeah, well, I don't know who that is, so you can have fun passing out the candy, but don't give them my Reese's Pieces. Uh, can we have some candy, please? Okay, sure. There you go. More. Jeffrey, no, come on. Boyny, I handed out the candy. Wait, wait a minute. One, two, three. Karen, two of my Reese's Pieces are missing. Your what? My Reese's Pieces, these. Oh, I thought you said Reese's Cups. We don't have any Reese's Cups, Karen. Well, I'm sorry, Boyny. I didn't understand the directions. Hey, Yuki and Guy. Well, Jonathan, what are you doing here? Well, since I'm your brother, I figured it was okay if I just walk in your house. No, leave. You didn't even ask me what my outfit was. I'm tomato. Cause you're like toes. Get it? Yeah. Karen, show me your toes. Oh, I'm a mermaid. I don't have toes. Show me your boobies then. Okay, Jonathan, I think you need to leave. Can I have some candy first? No. <laughs> I'm telling mom. Oh, don't tell mom. Damn it. Karen, I can't believe you gave away two of my Reese's pieces. I'm gonna I know where those people live. I'm gonna go find them and I'm gonna get my candy back. Boy, need you leave those nice people alone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, let's look at all the candy we got from trick-or-treating. Yeah! Okay, well, I got some fruit roll-ups. I have not quite enough Snickers to spell Snickers, but I can spell Rick's, and I have some Starburst. Cody, what is your Halloween costume supposed to be? Yeah, dude, I was wondering that all day. Wait, really? Come on, I'm Harry Potter. Oh, you look like a lawyer. What, a lawyer? Is this what you think a lawyer looks like? Well, you have a tie on and a suit and the Harvard scarf. What, what did you think this thing in my hand was? Um, it, like a pen so you could write down stuff in court. But no, why, why do you think I have a broom? So you could sweep up your office? Dude, I thought you were a lawyer, but from Antarctica. What, Antarctica? Yeah, because of the scarf, duh. Oh, yeah. No. Well, Joseph, what is your costume supposed to be? Isn't it obvious, dude? I'm a green astronaut. Oh, yeah, a famous green astronaut. I've heard of those. Uh, uh, Cody, you haven't asked what my costume is. Yeah, I'm trying not to think about it. Well, come on, guess. Is it my mom? No. But really? No, it's not your mom. It's your mom, but in Minecraft. Uh, Jesus. He's thinking outside the box. Junior, you've already been my mom for Halloween before. But I've never been your mom in Minecraft. I guess that's true. Okay, guys, let's trade some candy. Okay, what's your first offer? Okay, well, I really want that Starburst. So, I'll trade you a Milky Way for your Starburst. No, 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 no way. No way I'm trading my Starburst for a little tiny mini Milky Way. Okay, how about this? I will trade you um, ooh, my Kit Kat for the Starburst. Mm, no, no. How about your Cheez-Its for my Starburst? I'm not trading my Cheez-Its. I love Cheez-Its, okay? So, how about I trade you my fruit snacks for your Starburst? Well, I already have Mott's fruit snacks, and that's actually pretty similar, so no. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Joseph, I, I, you have two Starbursts, so I'm going to trade you something. Um, I'll trade you my Cheez-Its for your Starburst. Oh, deal, dude. What, what the fuck, Junior? That's exactly what I wanted. But he has two Starbursts, so he, he has, like, more to trade than you do. What? Yeah, dude, I'm not gonna pass up on a good deal. <laughs> but it's the same, but... It's not the same deal, look. Now, give, give me my, give me, yeah, there you go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't have been greedy. Should've given me the Starburst. This is bullshit. Hey, guys, call me the baker's man, cause I got a cupcake pan. Oh, sweet Lord Jesus, are those Reese's Pieces? Oh, dude, I'll trade you all my candy for the Reese's Pieces. No, I'll trade you all my candy for the Reese's Pieces. Oh, no, I want the Reese's Pieces. Back off, guys. The Reese's Pieces are mine. Yo, man. Oh, darn it. <gasps> Ugh, I'm done with this stupid holiday. Baby, can you help me take my costume off? Okay, Marvin. Be careful. You don't want to touch my thing one. <laughs> my... My one thing. What? My one Danny, I struck gold. Check it out. Two packs of Reese's Pisces. Wow, Jeffy, that's really cool. Yeah, I'm going to eat them. Not so fast. Those Reese's Pisces are mine.
Wait, 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 actually, he got them trick-or-treating, so they're his. Yeah, well, my, and I hate to call her this, my wife accidentally passed those out, and she knows they're mine, so I am taking these, and if you have a problem with that, you're gonna die. Well, then you're gonna have to fight me. Oh, yeah, my red thing's out. Yeah, my ew, red thing's ew, out. That, that, oh, 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 no, I dropped my lightsaber. If you strike me down, I'll become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Ow, my eye! Ow, I'm telling my mommy. All right, Daddy, open up a pack of these Reese's Pussies. <laughs> I'm watching the Miami Heat try to play basketball. But Boiny, didn't they make the playoffs? No, Karen, they're not in the playoffs. They're just visiting the playoffs. What do you mean, Boiny? Well, it's kind of like when you adopt a sick kitten that you know is going to be dead in a week. I mean, sure, you can play with it, but every time you do, you're just going to be reminded of how it'll be dead soon. That's how it is with the Miami Heat. They're in the playoffs, but they're going to lose. Oh, oh, so they're like the Dallas Cowboys. Yes, exactly. They're not supposed to be there. I mean, they're in the playoffs, but it's really just for show. Okay, Boiny. But didn't the Heat beat the Boston Celtics last year? Yes, they did. In seven games with Jimmy Butler, who is not playing. Wait, why isn't he playing, Boiny? Isn't that his job? Yeah, you would think so. But at least he has a good excuse this time. See, he hurt his knee losing a play-in game. And then his team went on to win without him, which gave me hope. But now they're just spreading their cheeks for the Celtics. Well, how long is it going to take for his knee to get better? Oh, with his diet of only ever drinking coffee, I'd say the Heat's going to lose long before he ever picks up another basketball. Wait, Boiny, aren't you a doctor? Can't you fix his knee? Yeah, you're right, Karen. I could probably go to the hospital and give him a pep talk or maybe some steroids. I'm gonna go see him. Oh, come on, boys. You're playing like you didn't drink your coffee. Speaking of coffee, nurse! Yes, Mr. Butler? I don't think my IV's working. I'm sure it isn't. We really should add water to it and not just coffee. Nope, I just want more big face coffee. Ugh, I'll start brewing a pot. Hey, Mr. Butler. Oh, hey, doctor. How's my leg doing? I don't know. I just got here. Oh, I see you're watching your team lose by 30. Yeah. 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 Fuck it, right? Yeah. That's fine. It's only 30. I mean, it's not like it's 40, right, Jimmy? That would just be embarrassing. Well, there's always next season. Oh, okay. So you've just fully given up on this season. That's good to know. You know they can't win without you. Nurse! Yes, doctor? How, how bad is his knee? Well, he suffered a severe MCL sprain, so he could be out for weeks. Well, that's okay. That just gives me more time to make my coffee. Fucking snap out of it, Jimmy. What the fuck is going on in your head? I know the Jimmy that loves basketball is still in there somewhere. Okay, sir, sir, sir. This brings up a bigger issue. I think he might be addicted to coffee. Yeah, you fucking think? Yeah? Yeah, Jimmy, I think so. Well, sir, if we fix the issue now, he could recover for next season. Wow. You really think so? You think... Maybe if we cure his coffee addiction, we could get knocked out of the playoffs in the second round next time? Boy, wouldn't that be a dream come true. The second round. Come on, Jimmy. Let's get you to Addictions Anonymous. All right, Jimmy. This is Addictions Anonymous. Everybody here is addicted to something. We're going to get you some help. Ooh, is that complimentary coffee? <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Addictions Anonymous. Now here we don't discriminate whether you're addicted to alcohol or drugs or sex. Bingo! <laughs> oh, well why don't you start us off? I would love to! Hello everybody, my name is Ronald McDonald. You probably heard of me. I caught you in! I have a store on every corner! Hi Ronald. Hey. So, I got a lot of problems, but my worst problem, it starts with an M and it ends with an S, and I'm sure you all probably know what it is, multiple hookers. I'm saying I spend tens of thousands of dollars a week on hookers. L let me give you an example of how bad it is. Let's say you're here, sitting right here in this meeting right now, right here. And I come up to you, and I say, Hey, you want to make $10,000 in about 25 seconds? And you say, yeah. Well, what I would do, I would pull out this stack of $10,000 cash. And then, I would pull out a little letter saying it's a gift so you don't have to pay taxes. And I would probably take you to that room right over there and bet you the hell over. But, you, you know, you, you don't, you don't. 
you're not interested in that, so I'll just, I'll just slowly put it back in my pocket. Uh, hold on there, Ronald. Um, um, Mr. Cheetah, why don't you go next? Come on, Ronald. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Chester? Ch Chester, she called you. Uh, huh? What? It's your turn. Oh, hey everybody, my name's Chester Cheetah. Hi, Chester Cheetah. And I have a terrible addiction to Cheetos. I like to crunch them up and snort them. My kids won't talk to me. My wife left me. All I have left is Cheetos. See, see Jimmy, you want to end up like that coked up cheetah? That's what's going to happen if you don't give up coffee. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, I didn't know that some people here were d d d choking. Uh, uh, Ma'am, how about you go next? Oh my god, I'm like addicted to shopping and I would do anything to have more money to buy more stuff. Hey! Um, Mr. Jimmy Butler, sir, how about you go next? Oh, what? My turn? Well, I'm not really addicted to anything, so I don't really know why I'm here. Okay, Jimmy, thank you. I'll take it from here. Hey, everybody. This is NBA basketball play... Oh, I'm sorry. I misspoke. NBA country music singer and coffee barista Jimmy Butler. See, Jimmy here gets paid $200 million to play basketball, but instead of doing that, he would rather make coffee or do literally anything else other than play basketball. You name it, he'll probably do it, as long as it's not basketball. See, Jimmy lost the finals last year, and this year he can't even play because he's got a broken fucking knee or something. Somebody fell on it? I don't know. I'm assuming it's coffee related. But what I really want to say is I don't even care if the Heat lose every game for the rest of my life. As long as Jimmy does the one thing he gets paid to do, which is play fucking basketball. So please, I don't know how you people could possibly help him, but please, please help him. Help me help him. Because I have not seen one fucking big face brick and mortar store, and I have never seen it on a grocery store sell shelf, so I don't know who the fuck you're selling this coffee to, Jimmy. You flew all the way down to Columbia to make a video about how your coffee gets made. He prides himself on it coming out of the ground. Of course it fucking comes out of the ground, Jimmy. It's coffee. Where else would it come from? I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I'm getting mad. I, I just, somebody please help him. That is so sad. <laughs> it is sad. The worst part about my addiction is now I want two at the same time. <laughs> yeah, come on. Oh, Jimmy, I don't think they're going to be back for a while. It's just Chester, and I don't think he can help. We should go back to the hospital. Oh, can I bring my coffee? <laughs> Oh, you're back. How'd it go? Can somebody help me open my coffee? Oh. All right, Jimmy, we're gonna do a little psychological test here. This is called an ink blot test. Just take a look at this picture and tell me what you see. Well, that looks like somebody spilled coffee on that piece of paper. Oh, okay. All right, fine. We'll, we'll do another one. All right, how about this one? Well, that looks like another coffee stain. Okay, but do you see something in the coffee stain? Hmm, maybe some creamer. Ugh, okay, okay. All right, well, how about this one? This one's got color. Okay, well, that it, that's a pumpkin spice coffee. <laughs> Okay, okay, Jimmy, how about we try some- Jimmy, Jimmy, focus. Huh? huh? Okay, how about we try something else? Repeat after me, okay? Basketball. Coffee. Okay, hold on. Basketball. Coffee. Jimmy, are you listening? Uh, Basketball. Coffee. Coffee. Basketball. Coffee. Okay, we're gonna slow it way down here, buddy. Bat. Basket. <laughs> Ball. Coffee. Oh my god. god! Damn it, Jimmy! You were standing up earlier. I know you can still play basketball. We're gonna have a montage and see if you can still make basketball shots. Put that down. Come on. Feels nice. Just enjoying a nice hot coffee bath. Oh, Jimmy, this has to stop. 
You want to know what my number's 22? Because there's two F's and two E's in coffee. <laughs> well, sir, how did the montage go? He can't do it. He can't fucking do it. Everything is just coffee. Well, have you thought about giving him the coffee and once he has it, see how he does? You don't understand. <laughs> All he does is drink coffee. Last year, he drank coffee in the finals and he still lost. He's currently taking a coffee bath. What? A coffee bath. He is bathing in coffee. You know how some athletes take ice baths? He's taking a coffee bath. Well, is it at least iced coffee? No, it is fresh piping hot coffee. Dear God, we've lost him! Okay, that's it. I'm not just gonna sit back and watch the Miami Heat get a train ran on him. I'm gonna put on a jersey and go out there and play. But sir, sir, sir! You're white. I know, but so is Tyler Hero. Now where is my burned up Jimmy Butler jersey? Okay, okay, all I have to do is make this free throw and we only lose by 25. Okay. <clears throat> Fuck. Well, at least I'm actually trying and not just drinking coffee. Wow, it's really pretty out here. This reminds me of Columbia. You know, that's where I grow my coffee. I know, Jimmy. I know. Just think about the coffee, Jimmy. There's just so many different kinds of coffees. There's lattes and cappuccinos and cold brews and espressos. You know, my coffee contains smile matter. May cause happiness. I know, Jimmy. How do you take your coffee? Cream and two sugars, Jimmy. Cream and two sugars. <laughs> He's in a better place now. <laughs> Aw, Boydy, what's wrong? Jimmy Butler can't hurt us anymore. He's in a better place now. What? He's in a place where he can have all the coffee he wants and nobody can bother him about basketball. Well, that sounds like a nice place, Boydy. Yeah, I just hope he's up there looking down on us right now. Fuck it, he's probably drinking coffee. God, I hate this sport! I'm stepping dog poop. Ew, no, Jeffy, why would you want to do that? Because I like the sound it makes when I step on it. No, Jeffy, you can't go outside and step in dog poop. That's gross, Jeffy. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. Well, if you're going to do it anyway, can you at least put shoes on? Ew, Marvin. But, Daddy, I can't find my shoes. What do you mean you can't find your shoes? Well, they ran away. How'd your shoes run away? I don't know, but they did it, Daddy. Jeffy, shoes can't run away unless you're the one in the shoes running. Well, I just can't find them, Daddy. Did you look everywhere? Well, I looked everywhere and I thought that they could be. And where's that? On my feet. They're not on your, if they were on your feet, they wouldn't be lost, Jeffy. Look, I'm going to help you find your shoes. All right, Daddy. <gasps> Jeffy, I found your shoes! No way! I looked everywhere! Oh, Booger, why are you chewing my shoes? Bad Booger, bad! <sighs> now we have to get your new shoes, Jeffy. Well, Daddy, I can step in dog poop without shoes. No, Jeffy, we'll get your new shoes and you're not stepping in dog poop in them. <sighs> <sighs> did you find Jeffy's shoes, Marvin? Yes, I did, but his pet dinosaur Booger ate them. Oh, no! So now we have to get Jeffy new shoes, and they're going to be so expensive. Well, I could go to the thrift store and buy him a used pair of shoes. Yeah, just do that. Can you give me the Poop Stompers 3000? No, Jeffy, you're not going to step in poop in your new shoes. Okay, I'll be right back. Marvin, I'm back. Oh, my God, those shoes are cool. Mommy, those shoes are the tits. How much do those cost? They were only $20, Marvin, and the owner of the store said Michael Jordan used to wear these when he was a kid. Michael Jordan? Yeah! Well, they're about to belong to Scotty Poopin after he gets on stepping in dog poop with him. Or Shaquille O'Neal. Or, or Fecal Jordan. <laughs> Jeffy, put these shoes on. Daddy, look. These shoes fit perfectly. Well, you better take care of them, Jeffy. Oh, don't worry, Daddy. I'm only going to step in the finest dog turds with these babies. You better not, Jeffy. Yeah, Jeffy, actually take care of these shoes. Look, I bet your friends are jealous. Go show your friends. Oh, you're right, Daddy. I bet you they don't have dog turd stompers like these babies. I'll be right back. Oh, I made it again! <laughs> when do we get a turn? We're playing Make It Take It, so whenever I miss it, that's when you get a turn. But I don't miss. <sighs> We're gonna be here all night. <laughs> see? He keeps making it. Yeah. Oh. He just keeps making it. See, see, watch this. Uh, do it again. Uh, oh, God, oh, finally, he missed. We get a turn. Yeah, okay, finally. Now it's my turn. Hey, guys, can I play? No, we haven't even had our turn yet. Cody, just let Jeffy have a turn. He probably sucks at basketball. He's gonna miss this shot anyway. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Whoa, he made it. Oh, you know what? New rules. Everybody has to shoot from way back there because we're shooting from way too close. Okay. From right here? Yeah, from right there. He's totally going to miss this. Yeah. Yeah. What? You made it from there? Heck yeah. Well, uh, uh, you have to make it from the balcony now. How about that? Okay. Yeah, he's going to miss that. Yeah. All right, Jeffy, try to make it from up here. Dude, I can't even make it from up here. I know. I'm trying to get Jeffy to lose his turn. All right, watch this. Yeah. Heck yeah! How 
to keep making it? Oh, I know a shot that you definitely can't make. Come on. All right, Jeffy, for this next shot, you have to shoot the ball over the balcony and make it to the goal. But Jimmy, that's impossible. And you have to do it over your head. That's even more impossible. Just go sit by the goal and see if he makes it. All right, Jeffy, shoot the shot. All right. Mwah! Whoa, he made it. Dude, he just doesn't miss. What? He made that? Yeah, he yeah. did. Oh, when's he ever going to miss? I don't know. Did I make it? Yeah, Jeffy, how are you so good at basketball? I don't know. It must be the new shoes I got from Michael Jordan. What? Michael Jordan used to have those shoes? No way, dude. Oh, this is like that movie, Like Mike. What? What? Well, you know, that movie where the kid gets Michael Jordan's shoes and they make him good at basketball? That never happened. Wait, that's a thing? Uh, yeah. Wait, wait. Wait, so you're saying that Jeffy's only good at basketball because he has Michael Jordan's old shoes? I mean, maybe. Wait, so you're saying as long as he's wearing those shoes, he's never going to miss? I, I guess. Jeffy, let's try it. All right, Jeffy, try to make a shot. All right. All right, now take the shoes off. All right. Try to make another shot. He missed! It's the shoes! It's the shoes! Oh, my God. So if Jeffy's wearing those shoes, he could be in the NBA. He'll never miss. He'll win, like, 25 championships. Oh, my God, that's awesome! Uh, who could that be? Hello? Hey, man. Uh, what are you doing here? Hey, do you have any eggs? Eggs? Yeah, my wife wants to make scrambled eggs, but we don't have any eggs. Why didn't you go to the store? Well, because that cost money, and I figured I could get them for free from you. I mean, you're not going to say no, right? I, I came all this way. <sighs> They're in the fridge. Thanks, bud. Ooh, I'm going to get a drink while I'm here, too. Ooh, and maybe some chips. I mean, he already said yes to the eggs. He's not going to say no to that. Dude, he just doesn't miss! What? What's that all about? Come on, Jeffy, make it again. Yeah, come on. Guys, I've already made it like 300 times. I know, just do it one more time. Please. What's going on in here? This kid can't miss when he shoots the basketball. What? Yeah, yeah, he just can't miss a shot. He's been making them all night. No way, show me. Yeah, 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 make, try, try this shot, Jeffy. All right. Yeah. What? See, he just doesn't miss. Wow, kid, you should go pro. Well, he's really young, he can't go pro yet. Huh, yeah, you're right. But he's not too young for me to use him to hustle some people down at the gym. Huh. Hey, kid, come with me to the gym. I think you guys are good enough to beat the national champs. Wait, really? Yeah, come on. There they are. They're legit. Best, best. Oh my god, they're really good! Yeah, there's a reason they won the championship. You think we can beat them? Not you, your friend. But a basketball team needs five people, so also you. Okay. I'm gonna go see if they'll accept the challenge. That's what I'm talking about, Tron! That's what I'm talking about! Excuse me, sir. Hey, what do you want? I'd like to make a little wager. A wager? Yeah, I'd bet this kid and his friends could beat you and your team in a game of basketball. <laughs> You know we the champions, right? Well, yes, sir, I do know that. Which is why I'd be willing to bet $50,000 that this kid could beat you in basketball. $50,000? Oh, you serious, serious? Oh, I'm serious. You don't have $50,000. Shut up. Hey, so, uh, so we have a deal? Uh, hold on, let me see, let me see. Hey, y'all think we could beat these little kids in a basketball game? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got a challenge. All right, I'll get the rest of the kids. Hey, and if we, if we win... You never get to touch a basketball another day in your life. You got that? I don't know how you'd ever enforce that, but okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, kids, you ready to make me $50,000? What? He thinks we can beat a professional basketball team. But we can't beat a professional basketball team. Well, not on your own, but Jeffy can. He never misses. Yeah, guys, I think we can do it. All right, come on. All right, what scrums are we going up against? They're right there. Check out the half court shot. Almost, okay, almost, y'all yeah. made that, y'all saw that, right? Yeah. What yeah. Yeah. Almost, yeah. Yeah. it's the effort that counts, it's the effort. Yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. We're going up against th 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 them? I think so, dude. Don't worry, your friend here can't miss. Isn't that right, Jeffy? Right, I don't miss anything, I just keep making buckets. Okay, let's do this. Hey! I didn't think you'd actually show up. What, do you think I'd make a $50,000 bet involving children and not show up? No, we're here and we're ready to play. Where's your team? Oh, my team's here. Hey, guys, and one girl. Come here. Yeah, my team's here. And we got another guy in the bathroom, but we here. All right, let's play then. Well, let's play then. Okay, let's play. Be prepared to never touch another one of these ever again in your life. Well, that's not really much of a change for me, but all right, yeah. Yeah, come on. Ow. All right, you guys ready for tip off? Oh yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Hey, y'all, look, he's wearing a diaper. We're playing against a baby. <laughs> it's gonna be easy. Jeffy, don't let him get in your head. Uh -huh. All right, you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Ugh. 
Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Pass it to Jeffy. Uh, yeah. He made that? Oh no. Come on, guys. Oh, it's on now. Oh my god, you see the three-pointer? Way to go, Jeffy! Good shot, Jeffy! On you! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, 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 yes, sir! What? What? It's on me, baby! It's Damn it! Come on, guys! Step it up! Oh, dude, I love basketball! Pass it to Jeffy! No, dude, I got this! Pass it to Jeffy! Oh, dude, I'm gonna make it! Watch this! Uh. Oh, dude! Are you supposed to pass it to Jeffy? Dude, I just ate popcorn! Oh. That's what happens when you don't give the ball to Jeffy. Well, I'm sorry, dude. Pass the ball to Jeffy. Come on. Jeffy! Where are you going, Jeffy? Where are you going? I'm going this way. We losing! We don't lose! Oh my god! Another three points! We are killing it! You ain't got this? You ain't got this? Oh, here you go, Tron! Get out of my house! This is my house! <laughs> tighten up, Tron! Tighten up! Yeah, come on! Yeah, I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! Pass the ball to Jeffy! Yeah, but he's so far away, though! Where? Yeah, yeah, yeah! That's what I'm talking about! You got the ball stolen away from a girl? Yeah! Yeah! That happened because of you. I'm sorry. Okay, six to six. A tight game. Come on, we got this. Where you going? Where you going? You ain't making another shot today. Junior, alley you. Okay. Uh. Y'all see me dunk it? Yeah, that was uh, crazy. Yes, yeah, the shoes. Yes, yeah, those shoes. The shoes. Shoes. You can't cover me. You can't cover me. Woo. He took my shoes! Uh, how do I keep getting the ball? Just pass the ball to Jeffy! Hey, Jeffy! Uh, no! Wait, no, you take it! No, I don't have my shoes! Wait, he doesn't have his shoes! Uh, time out! Hey, you can't call time out! Time out, time out! What, what's going on? Why'd you guys call time out? One more shot and we win! Someone took my shoes! Yeah, someone took his shoes. What? Okay, I don't even have legs. Who cares? Why do you need shoes? There's something we didn't tell you. Wh what? The shoes he had on. They used to belong to Michael Jordan. They were magical shoes. And it, it made him where he wouldn't miss a single shot. What? Oh, oh, I don't have time for this shit. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What, well, okay, where's the shoes? Number one took them and number 11's eating them. Yeah, yeah, eat that. You deserve it, you earn it. Wait, what? Okay, 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 F forget about the shoes. Okay, you, you never needed the shoes. Actually, we did. Yeah, well, they made them where he didn't miss a shot. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to do without them, okay? Because you can do this, okay? I know you can do this, I believe in you. Just just look deep within yourself, okay? Because if we lose this, I'm, I'm gonna go bankrupt and I will never be able to touch a basketball ever again. Although I'm a lot less worried about that one. So get back out there and just get one more shot. That's all we need. Okay, let's do it. Come on, let's play. One more shot wins the game. Oh, oh what's the matter? You can't make a shot without your magical shoes? Um, actually, I cannot. Cody, here. <laughs> Cody, shoot it. Why are you talking like that? I don't know. Just shoot it. Okay. Yeah. You won that you didn't need shoes, you did it! Oh my god! Woo! Oh my god! They did it! Those kids won! They actually pulled it off! I, I could kiss you! I'm gonna kiss you! I'm gonna end up on some kind of list, but I'm still gonna kiss you! Do it again! Cody, we won! Let's go celebrate! I gotta admit, those kids did pretty good. Yeah, I mean that one kid probably just got lucky, but still, yeah, we won, so where's my money? Yeah, deal's the deal. You'll get your money. <laughs> Alright, awesome! Hey, Danny! Jeffy, what happened to your new shoes? Somebody ate them. No one ate them, Jeffy! Stop lying! Danny, you have no idea the truth behind what I just said. Hey, Marv! But Brooklyn guy. Uh, 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 it's $50,000 guy now. <laughs> $50,000? How'd you get all this money? Well, because your son helped me win a $50,000 bet. But I scored all the points. 
points. No, you didn't score the game-winning shot, but I still want to thank you by giving you some of this money. <gasps> we get some of that money? Well, I mean, I'm going to give it to your dad because that seems more responsible. Okay, how, how much are we getting? You are going to get $100. $100? Yeah, you can buy your kids some new shoes. Hey, Dad, can we get the Poop Stompers 3000s? <sighs> yeah, let's go. Sweet. Can't really pick it up. I got you. Wait, no, give it. I, I need it. Oh, sorry, sorry. All my money, I just. Jeffy, stop playing your stupid, dumb Jeffy piano. Dang, you're just mad that you didn't get your Jeffy piano before they sold out on smlmerch.com, link in the description. Boop. Marvin, look, the news! Breaking news, okay? There's a super full moon out tonight, so you can super see the full moon. And I don't mean the homeless man showing his ass on the street. Um, buddy, question? What? Is the moon made out of cheese? No, Jeffy, the moon's not made out of cheese. Well, our bank accounts are gonna be made out of cheese once we see all these Jeffy pianos on smlmerch.com, link in the description. Boop. Marvin, how do you know the moon's not made out of cheese? Because it wouldn't make sense for the moon to be made out of cheese. Why would there be a big sphere of cheese in space? Well, it's cold in space, so it would keep the cheese fresh. Yeah, I want the moon to be made out of cheese because we're all crackers. Jeffy, don't say that. What, crackers? That's a bad word. How is it a bad word? I, I can't really explain it, Jeffy, but it's a bad word. And listen, the moon is not made out of cheese because when the astronauts landed on it, they would have told everyone it was made out of cheese. Well, maybe they're just keeping all the cheese for themselves. Maybe they're selling it. That's why there's so many craters in the moon, because they're packaging it up and selling it. Yeah, Marvin, you've never been to the moon, so how would you know? I have an astronaut friend that I could call over and he'll tell you it's not made out of cheese. Well, fine, call him. Yeah, call him, Daddy. I want to know if there's moon cheese, like ball cheese in space, because I got ball cheese in my pants. I want to scratch it, and I want to sniff it. It's pungent. I'm not smelling your ball hands. Hey there, somebody call an astronaut? Yeah, we did. Wait, what is that? Oh, this is just some regular old cheese and crackers. Ooh, can I have some? No, no, this is a very rare cheese just for astronauts. I'm not allowed to share. Stingy. So why'd you guys call me? My son wants to know if the moon's made out of cheese. What? The, what? What? No, moon, moon made of cheese. No, what are you, crazy? Who told you that? I was just wondering. Well, don't wonder, because it's not made of cheese. And this is not moon cheese. This is earth cheese from earth. This is just regular old moon. Mozzarella. I mean, mozzarella. Earth mozzarella. See, baby, the moon's not made out of cheese. I don't know, Marvin. He's acting awfully strange. No, I'm not. You're acting like a bitch. Hey! Well, even if the moon was made out of cheese, there wouldn't be enough for everybody, just astronauts. The moon is so big, if it was made out of cheese, it would take hundreds of thousands of years to eat the whole moon. Yeah, well, maybe you don't understand how delicious the moon would be, or how much you wouldn't want to stop eating the moon if it were made of cheese, which it is not. I think the moon's made out of cheese, Marvin. Is the moon made out of cheese? No! Why is everybody staring at me? Okay, fine, yes, the moon is made of cheese! What, it is? Yes, of course it is, and it's fucking delicious, Marvin! This cheese cures cancer! It cures cancer? Yes, it's miracle cheese! Presidents eat this shit! You know all the craters on the moon? They weren't there before! We mined it out so we could eat all the cheese! The dark side of the moon is only dark because we ate it all! We ate half the moon, Marvin! The, the, the Challenger, it exploded on its way up to the moon to get cheese! And the Columbia exploded on the way back because it was carrying too much cheese! Get it, get it, Marvin, Marvin, the International Space Station? Those fuckers just sit up there and eat cheese all they have the best life. Well, can we have some of the cheese? No, no, this is the last piece of moon cheese left on Earth. I can't share it. Oh. It's so fucking good. It's just so good. <laughs> smell that shit, Marvin. Mm. Oh, no. Now you're going to want moon cheese. You smell it. Now you want moon cheese. Everybody wants moon cheese because it's so fucking good. Well, is there any way you can get more? Well, the only way we could possibly get more is if we shoot a nuke at the moon and some pieces break off and miraculously land in your backyard. Can you do that? Yeah, sure. I'll be right back. All right, Lieutenant Simmons, you sit right there and make sure those nukes are armed and ready to go in case war breaks out. We'll teach those other countries not to fuck with America. Yeah, America. Yeah, that's right. You mess with us, you get turned into a parking lot. And remember, if you have to pee, don't. Because if anybody gets their hands on that laptop, they can nuke anywhere in the whole damn solar system. All right, Captain. <laughs> Stupid. The laser pointer gets them every time. <laughs> Okay, now just to launch a nuke at the moon. <laughs> God damn it, Lieutenant 
Lieutenant Simmons, what the fuck are you doing? You just nuked the moon. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. There was a laser pointer, so I had to leave the laptop. I just told you not to do that. God damn it, Simmons. You do that again, I'm gonna have to write you up. Yes, sir. Okay, I did it. I nuked the moon. So now any minute, pieces of moon cheese to start falling into your yard. But let's check the news just to make sure it worked. Breaking news, okay? You better watch out. You better not cry. NASA shot a nuke at the moon, and I'll tell you why. Actually, I don't know why, but they fucking did it. Now there's pieces of the moon falling to Earth, so don't get hit by it. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, yeah. I said, I said, I said, fuck yeah, Marvin. Come on, let's go to your yard and get some cheese. All right, where's this moon cheese at? It could be falling through the atmosphere at any second. Oh, heads up, heads up, heads up, heads up. I said heads up. Oh, God, my face hurts so bad. Marvin, look at this big-ass block of moon cheese. We could get millions for this. Or we could just keep it for ourselves. Come on, Marvin, help me bring it inside. My face hurts. Oh, my God, I think I have a concussion. Oh, my God, Marvin. Look at that cheese. What about my face? Oh, my God, Marvin, what happened to your face? He got hit in the face with a moon cheese meteor. I can't wait to try this cheese. Careful, Marvin. Once you've had a taste, you can't go back. You're going to crave it for the rest of your life. And besides, we could get billions of dollars for this cheese. I say we cut out two little pieces and we give one to McDonald's and one to Burger King and then we sell the rest to the highest bidder. We could make millions of dollars if they put it on their burgers. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna cut off some pieces. Okay, I cut off two pieces and sent them off. So now we just have to sit back and wait for the offers. So can we have some while we wait? No, no, I can though, because I'm already addicted. I, I wouldn't want you guys to ruin your lives too. Steve, baby, why'd you call me here, Steve? You know I was at the strip club with Delilah, and she's my favorite. Delilah's a stripper, Ronald. And she got table bitties too, Steve, and she's a nice lady, unlike your ex-wife, that stupid whore. <laughs> That's why you finally manned up and left her ass. <laughs> Throw her ass on the street, Steve. <laughs> I didn't leave her, Ronald. She died. Okay, so she left you. I don't know why you keep bringing her up, Steve. It's like you're not over. I gave you the day off that she died. Was that not good enough? Well, Ronald, the reason I- You really paint me out to be an inconsiderate asshole here, Steve. Well, I'm sorry. What, you want me to suck you off? No. Would that make you feel better, Steve? No, no it wouldn't, Ronald. Okay, I'm getting on my knees now, Steve. Stop, Ronald, no, 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 no. Here, pull your pants down, Steve. I'm not gonna do Whip that. Whip it out, Steve. I'm not gonna uh, do that. Right here, Steve. No, I'm not. Am I the boss here, or are you? You are the boss, Ronald. Then why am I trying to suck you off, Steve? I don't know. Exactly. So, now that we've talked about everything we need to talk about, can I go? No, Ronald, the reason I called you was because something came for you in the mail today. These nuts. Ha! <laughs> Got him, Steve. No, Ronald, it was this. What's that? It's a piece of moon cheese. Apparently, the moon's made of cheese. Are you trying to get me to eat cheese off your ass, Steve? No, Ronald, this cheese came from the moon. That moon? Yes, and apparently it's quite delicious. Okay, I'll be the judge of that, Steve. Oh, Ronald, are you okay? You having a seizure? What's wrong? Oh, I just cheesed my pants, Steve. Boys. Oh, oh Steve. I need this cheese for my burgers. It'll make me billions. Billions, Steve. Billions. It's gonna make me billions, Steve. Billions. It's gonna make me billions. Billion. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of money, Ronald. So, Steve, imagine this. The Moon Cheese Mac Meal. Oh, the Moon Mac Meal. Wait, better yet. The Neil Armstrong Moon Mac Meal. Call him up, Steve. He's dead, Ronald. Okay, even better. The, the Big Moon Cheese Zombie Neil Mac Meal. So, where do we get more of this, Steve? Well, from the moon, Ronald. Okay, buy the moon. You can't buy the moon, Ronald. It's not for sale. Okay, steal it then. Like the minions did in Despicable Me. <laughs> we did some meals with them that they owe us. Well, that was a cartoon, Ronald. Okay, ask them anyway. Well, there is somebody selling a block of moon cheese. We could just buy from them. Write them a check, Steve. But they also offered it to Burger King. What? I swear, Steve, if you let Burger King buy this and put this delicious, delectable moon cheese on this shittiest food, every time I go to take a piss, I'm gonna use your mouth as my personal urinal, and I might enjoy it. Well, Ronald, all you have to do is help at Burger King. <laughs> well, that shouldn't be too hard. They ain't worth shit. They're broke. So, Steve, give me the address for this moon cheese. 
so I can go negotiate. Okay. <laughs> Marvin, that might be one of the offers. You go get the door and I'll protect the cheese. Back off. Hello? Hello, good sir. It is I, the Burger King. I hold in my hand a Whopper, adorned with your wonderful moon cheese. I believe peasants will enjoy the taste of this sandwich, especially because the cheese masks the flavor of my disgusting burgers. Now, I haven't much to offer you, but I can assure you that this will finally make my burgers edible. So what say you, good sir? Do we have a deal? Die, Burger King! Die, you stupid bastard! Ronald, you'll never get away with this. Oh, Harry did. Now, where are the cheese at? What? No cheese. What? Bears. What? Move out of my way! <laughs> Give me that moon cheese! Hey, hey, you're supposed to pay for that, asshole! Uh, Marvin, Ronald McDonald just broke in here and stole our moon cheese! I know, he just killed the Burger King. Man, we were supposed to make money off of that! I didn't even get a bite! I nuked the moon for this, now the tides are gonna be all fucked up. Marvin, look the news! Breaking news! A cargo plane accidentally dumped its load of Swiss cheese, so if some landed in your backyard, yummy. So that was just regular old Swiss, huh? Well, that's fucking skibbity toilet. Hey, Daddy! You want a Hertz donut? What's a Hertz donut? Ow! Hertz donut? Jeffy, that wasn't very nice. Obviously, you didn't get the joke. I said, you want a Hertz donut? And then I threw it at him and said, Hertz donut? Oh, like the donut hurts. <laughs> Yeah, it's not funny anymore. Wait, what's that noise? Oh, oh, great! What's wrong, Marvin? Look at Booger. Oh, he's pissing. Oh, oh he ran away pissing. Oh, wow! Aw, oh, you scared him! No, Booger needs to get neutered. Is that really necessary? Yes, because if we neuter him, he won't pee anymore. What's neutered mean? It's when they grab your balls. Marvin! They... Oh, they grab your balls? I want to be neutered. No, Jeffy. Look, baby, can you please put Booger in his cage or take him to the vet? Aw, but he hates it in there. Put him in the cage, baby. Okay. Jeffy, you stay right here. I want to be neutered. Booger pizza! Okay, go get it! Oh, Booger, I'm so sorry! Marvin, Booger's ready! Oh, Booger, you're stuck in the cage? Well, I've never been neutered before, so I'm gonna let you out! Be free, Booger! I'm gonna get my balls touched! Oh, there's pizza in here! Alright, Booger, it's time to go to the vet and get neutered. Oh man! Oh, dinosaurs are heavy. Oh. Uh, uh. Hey, welcome to the vet's office. Please identify yourself, cause I can't see. It's me, Marvin. Oh, hey, Marvin. What's up? Well, why can't you see? Oh, I just got LASIK eye surgery this morning, so I can't see anything right now. But in a few hours, when my eyes heal up, oh, my vision's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be 2020. Hopefully not like the year. Well, I brought my pet dinosaur to get neutered. What, really? A pet dinosaur? Oh, that's awesome. I've never gotten a chance to neuter a dinosaur before. This is exciting. I'll get started right now. Wait, wait, wait shouldn't you wait for your eyes to heal? No, 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 no. I've neutered so many animals, I can do this with my eyes closed, which is exactly what I'm gonna do right now. All right, well, just let me know when you're done. Uh, hey, do you wanna keep them? Keep what? The balls. Like, do you want to keep them in a jar or something? Well, no, I don't want to keep the balls. Okay, well, I'm going to keep them. I mean, they're dinosaur balls. That's awesome. I'm keeping those. All right, well, just let me know when you're done. Okay, yeah, I'll call you or, or just bring them by. Okay, then I'll see you later. What? See? Oh, I get it. Like, it, like, LASIK. Like, see. See, I, I thought you meant see, like, like the ocean. What? Yeah, that didn't make any sense. But I get it now, so it's funny. Okay, I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> okay. All right, come here, Mr. Dinosaur. Show me those balls. All right, baby, I just dropped Booger off at the vet. Marvin, I think it's cruel to neuter animals. Baby, he was peeing on the rug. This is the only way to get him to stop. Will it? Booger, stop it. You're not eating a donut. Booger! Marvin, I thought you said he was at the vet. He is. I just dropped him off. Well, maybe it's a girl and they couldn't neuter him. Well, no, no. Brooklyn guy said he would drop the dinosaur off when he was done, so maybe he's already done. Let me call the vet real quick. Okay, it's ringing. Hey, this is the vet's office. Can you identify yourself? I can't see my caller ID. It's me, Marvin. Oh, hey, Marvin. I just finished neutering the dinosaur. It went great. Is that why you dropped him off? What? Dropped him off? No, he's still here. No, he's right next to me. Well, that's impossible because he's right next to me. Are you, are you sure it's the dinosaur? Like, can you see him? Well, no, but I can touch him. Like, I just touched him. He's here. What? Well, my dinosaur's right next to me. Oh, well, do you have two dinosaurs? Because if you do, I'll neuter both of them. You know, buy one, get one. Oh, uh, 
Baby, are you sure the dinosaur you put in the cage was Booger? Yes, Marvin. Like he was green? Yes, Marvin. Are you sure he was green? What? Yes. <sighs> Doggy, get in here. What you want, Ma Bibbs? Did you call me in here so you could give me some money? No, Dougie, I just want to make sure your balls were okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so both my dinosaurs are here. Well, you must have a third one, because I definitely have a dinosaur here. Wait, so there's a third dinosaur, and you neutered it? Yeah, it went fine. I, I mean, I will say I didn't keep his balls. They were a little too human-like. Kind of freaked me out, so I threw him in the ball pit. Like, we have this ball pit where we throw all the animal balls when we're done with them. It's pretty gross. And actually, now that you mention it, he did scream a lot in English. Dinosaurs are weird. Okay, can you please bring that dinosaur over to my house so we can see what you're talking about? Yeah, sure, I'll drive right over there. Are you sure you're okay to drive with your vision? Oh yeah, I've been there so many times I can drive there with my eyes closed. Uh, okay, this doesn't make any sense, baby. Marvin, where's Jeffy? Uh, he's probably in his room. Jeffy, get in here! Jeffy! Did you hear that? The vet must be here. H Hello, am I in the right house? Yeah, right here. Oh, hey Marvin. See, I told you I could make it, and you thought I couldn't drive here. Where'd you park? In your driveway. Did you hit my car? I hit something, but hey, look, I brought you dinosaur. Dinosaur, get in here. I look like the lamp from Pixar. Jeffy! You named your dinosaur Jeffy? That must get confusing, that's your son's name. You neutered my son! No, I neutered your dinosaur. Then take your glasses off and look! Oh, I don't know if my eyes have healed yet. <gasps> they did heal! Everything looks amazing! Uh, oh, oh no. Oh shit, that's your son. Yeah, I guess I did neuter him. Wait, why'd you neuter him? Well, look, it makes sense now that I'm thinking about it. I mean, yeah, I guess his balls were pretty human-like, and he did scream when I cut him, and he even said, hey, don't neuter me, I'm a human, not a dinosaur. But I thought the dinosaur was trying to trick me, so I was like, you can't trick me, dinosaur, so I snipped him anyway. I can't believe you neutered my son! Well, it's not my fault, it's your fault, because you put him in the cage! No, it's your fault, you put him in the cage! No, I put Booger in a cage! Jeffy, how'd you get in the cage? Well, I saw Booger in the cage, and then I let him out so I could get in the cage, because I wanted to know what neuter was. See, See, it's his fault, not mine. See, everybody hear that? I'm not liable. You can't sue me. Okay, can we put his balls back on him? I don't think you understand. His balls are in the ball pit. I mean, do you really want to dive into a 10,000 square foot pit of animal balls? I mean, there's cat balls, dog balls, donkey balls, fish balls, raccoon balls, just wall-to-wall -wall balls. Okay, well, can we find his balls? Well, even if we could find his balls, we can't put them back on. You can't use tape? No. Why do you guys keep all those balls? Well, we grind them up to make baloney. That's why it's called ball -oney. Hey, we sell some. You want it? But I don't want any ball Ew! I don't want baloney. His balls might be in there. I, I don't want to get out of here. Well, it's got chicken balls, pork balls, and beef balls. No, listen, listen, Jeffy, how are you feeling? Well, I've been better, Daddy. Ow, 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 I, ow, I, I, ow, I, I wouldn't, ow, I wouldn't ow. do that. See, he's not in too much pain because he's on pain meds, but don't worry, those will wear off. Okay, so like, what do we do now? Well, I mean, there's nothing more for me to do, but I mean, if he's in too much pain, you can call me, and you probably will be calling me. Oh, man, Jeffy, are you okay? Daddy, why am I gonna wear this cone on my head? So you don't lick your balls. How'd you know I was doing that? What? Is there a camera in my room? What? No, Jeffy, how are you feeling? Worried. Because how long has that camera been in my room? And what else have you seen me lick? There's no camera in your room, Jeffy. I'm gonna go look for the camera in my room. What, no, Jeffy, there's no camera. Oh, man, I can't believe this happened to Jeffy. Where is it? Where is it? Where is that stupid camera? Hey, Jeffy. Daddy, this is an invasion of my privacy because you have a camera in my room. There's no camera, Jeffy. Then why the cone? Listen, earlier today, we wanted to take your pet dinosaur to the vet to get his balls chopped off. What? Because he wouldn't stop peeing on the rug. Pee comes from your balls? No. But then why get his balls chopped off? Listen, Jeffy, the main point is you got your balls chopped off today. I did? Yeah. Hurts, don't it? Marvin! Well, he did that earlier to me, so I thought it'd be the perfect time to make the joke. No, Marvin! Listen, so that's why it hurts when you hit your diaper. Oh, I thought it hurts just because I beat it all the time. Ow, ow, ow. No, ow, no, no, ow, the, ow. Doctor, the doctor said don't do that because you're going to irritate it. So look, Jeffy, after school tomorrow, we're going to make it up to you. We're going to take you to Chuck E. Cheese, and you can eat pizza or play games. You can't do both because we're on a budget. We're balling on a budget. Marvin, stop it. You can play skee ball. Uh, or basketball. Marvin. Or playing the ball pit. Stop it! Okay, those are all my ball jokes. Listen, Jeffy, you're missing your balls, and tomorrow we're gonna make it up to you after school. So just go to bed, and tomorrow we'll have a fun day, okay? Okay, Daddy, but real quick, if I throw up in this thing, will I drown? No, Jeffy, just lean forward, it'll spill out. If I go outside and it starts raining or snowing, will I drown? No, th there's holes in the thing, Jeffy. It, 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 look, you're not gonna drown. Go to bed. All right, Daddy. Alright class, today we're going to be learning about the North Atlantic right whale. Oh, we're learning about my mom today, because she's a big fat whale, right? She's the biggest animal on the whole planet. Cody, why would you talk about your mom like that? Well, I was just beating you guys to it, because I know you're going to say it. I would never say your mom is fat. Oh, shut up. I'm going to tell your mom you called her fat. Please don't. The North Atlantic right whale is known to have the biggest balls 
of any animal in the world. Nuts big as shit! <laughs> I didn't know I was a North Atlantic right whale, because <laughs> my balls are huge. Or because you're fat like your mom. Ha <laughs> ha, conehead. Don't call me names. <laughs> hey, satellite dish head. I said, leave me alone. <laughs> Megaphone head. I will allow you to call me one more name as long as it's hilarious. <laughs> Upside down lampshade head. That was lame. Hey, can you look up a little more? What, like this? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Trash can head. Oh, you did it now. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffy boy, no fighting! You're going to the principal's office right now! Hey, Danny, I got suspended from school today. For what? For beating up this kid because he was making fun of my cone hat. What did he say? Well, you see this paper ball in here? He threw it in here and now I can't get it out. Hey, I was playing with that. Jeffy, you are grounded for getting suspended from school. Well, what about Chuck E. Cheese? You're grounded, so you can't go to Chuck E. Cheese. Damn. Well, I'm hungry. Well, go downstairs and get something to eat. How? I can't even reach my mouth. Jeffy, just go figure it out. Okay. I can't believe you got suspended. Hey, Dad, can you help me pour some milk? Jeffy! What? What are you wasting all the Cheerios for? Well, you told me to figure it out. This is the best I can come up with. No, Jeffy, you go pour those Cheerios out because you're wasting them. Okay. But no, I'm about to... Jeffy! Hey, you hit my eyeball off. <laughs> go clean yourself up. Oh, baby, it's going to take forever to clean this mess up. What about Jiffy's eye? Danny, you've been really mean to me ever since I apparently got my balls cut off. You did get your balls cut off, Jeffy. Did I? You did, right? I don't know. I haven't been able to lick them because it is cone. Hey, hey, everybody. I didn't really cut Jeffy's balls off. What? Yeah, I was checking the security camera footage at the vet's office because I was going to sell it to, like, a gore website or something, and then I saw it really happened. Well, what really happened? Calm down, baby birds. I'll feed you. Just watch this flashback. All right, dinosaur, show me those balls. I'm going to cut them off. But I'm a human. No, you're not going to trick me, dinosaur. Give me those balls. Here they are. Oh, no, you're cutting my balls. You're cutting my balls. Ooh, they smell really good. Mm, I'm going to try this. So you didn't cut Jeffy's balls off? Oh, no, I was cutting pizza. Oh, well, earlier you said you felt something that felt like human balls. Yeah, that was the pizza. It was really soggy. It felt like human balls, and I ate it. What? <laughs> Yeah, I ate it, because, okay, listen, I, I, I thought to myself, when am I going to get another chance to eat dinosaur balls, right? So I had to try it, and then it tasted like pepperoni pizza, so I thought to myself, this is why the dinosaurs must have gone extinct, it's because their balls tasted like pepperoni pizza, and people kept eating their balls, and then they couldn't have any more babies. But then I lied to you guys, because I didn't want you to know that I ate dinosaur balls, and then I thought I ate your son's balls, and that was even worse, so I couldn't tell you that, but it turned out it was pizza, so it's okay. But you ate it thinking it was balls. Yeah, yeah, but it's pizza, so everything's fine. But it was, you thought it was balls. Look, man, we don't have to obsess about it. I ate pizza, he still has his balls, everything's good. I still have my balls? Yep, you sure do. So I can take the cone off? Yeah, go ahead. How do I do that? Oh, it's, it's like those little, like, those little knobs, like, behind your head there. Yeah, this, you got it, it's that one. Okay, I, no, that, I, I think, I think that one's okay. You got, uh, yeah, there's, there's three of them, so. Yeah, you got it. Just one more. Just turn it. Yeah! I'm free! <laughs> all right, all our bags are packed. Oh, Marvin, I'm so excited to go to St. Louis, Missouri. If we're going to Missouri, why are you dressed like you're going to the beach? Because we are going to the beach, Marvin. There's no beach in St. Louis. <laughs> Marvin, prepare to be wrong. Check this out. What's that right next to the arch? That's right, it's a beach. Can you imagine floating in a pool floaty and looking up at the arch? I think that's heaven, Marvin. Well, that looks like a river. Yeah, the Mississippi. I can't wait to go snorkeling and eat Mexican food. Oh, Marvin, they have the best Mexican food. I, I swear, it's like they hop the border and come straight to St. Louis. So you've been to St. Louis before? Yeah, we go every summer. Boiny says it's the cheapest beach you can go to. Yeah, it's amazing, Marvin. See in the picture? There's nobody else there. It's like having your own private beach just for you and also that barge. Okay, well, why don't we go somewhere more tropical, like Oklahoma? Marvin, everybody's gonna be swimming in the beaches of Oklahoma this time of year. You know where they're not gonna be? St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, well, let's not miss our flight. Grab your bags. Yeah, we gotta hurry up. We have a Southwest flight, and it's like riding a bus. There's no assigned seating. It's just first come, first serve. So we might not actually even be sitting together. I swear, if I get seated next to a crying baby, I'm gonna punch it in the face. Well, if you punch, it's gonna cry more.
Not if I punch it hard enough, Marvin. <laughs> Just kidding, but maybe I'm not. Come on, let's go! How lucky of us that we all get to sit together in one row. I know, isn't it great, Marvin? Danny, what would happen if the plane crashed into a building? Right, Jeffy, don't say stuff like that. Well, it happened three times, almost four. Jeffy, that was a long time ago. Yeah, Jeffy, it's not gonna happen, so shut up. All right, one more question. How do we know that the pilot didn't catch his wife cheating on him and he's about to crash the plane on purpose to get back at life? Oh, I'm starting to freak out, Jeffy! Oh, you, come, calm down, come down. That's not gonna happen. They screen the pilots every, every day, I think. Ugh, I hate sitting in the middle seat. And I'm sitting next to a baby. Fungus, sit down. What the fuck? You named your baby Fungus? Well, would you like to sit next to Fungus? No, she likes the window seat. Okay, well, do you want to switch seats with me so I can sit on the end and you can sit with Fungus? No, I like the aisle seat. Oh, yeah, that makes fucking sense. Mama! 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 I, I think Mama. it wants your attention. Mama. That's okay. She's self-soothing. She'll calm down in 30 minutes to an hour. Oh, that is fucking perfect. Hey, you think you could cry louder? I don't think my eardrums have ruptured yet. Where? 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 How do you like it? Where? Can I get y'all anything before takeoff? Yeah, I'd like a bomb so I can blow this plane up. Sir, you can't say bomb on an airplane. Oh, sorry. Well, can I at least get some earplugs then? Oh, shoot. I just gave away my last pair. Oh, well, those people also sitting next to a screaming baby? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm sure they needed it way more than I do. Oh, one more thing. Um, hypothetically, if I were to punch this baby, would I still be able to go to St. Louis? No. Oh, okay. Wah! Wah! Oh, I really want to Wah! see that arch. That baby sounds like it's getting murdered. Hey. What? Go back to your seat! Um, I just punched a baby over there, and now the flight attendant is saying I have to switch seats. Would any of y'all mind switching seats with him? Uh, Rose, you want to switch seats with him? Sure, I'll sit by a baby. Wait, really? I get a window seat? <laughs> I gotta start punching babies more often. Oh, Marvin, this is the perfect way to start a vacation in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm on a Southwest flight right next to my best buddy. Hey, Marvin, what do you think the odds are that the flight attendant will suck me off in the bathroom? What? No, no, no I'm just kidding. That's crazy. That's crazy. That wouldn't happen. It's crazy. But maybe, right? No, no, no. I, I wouldn't let it get that far. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. I just want everyone to know that last night I caught my wife cheating on me with three black guys. So you're gonna have to bear with me. Prepare the cabin for takeoff. Whew, Marvin, it sounds like the captain's having a rough day. But don't worry, he'll cheer right up as soon as we land in St. Louis, Missouri. Happiest place on earth! Bumpy takeoff. Whoa, it's really, really, really bumpy. Really, really bumpy takeoff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! I'm gonna crush it! What? It's uh, gonna be full! Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute, what happened? Wait, wait, I thought I punched you! Can I get y'all anything before takeoff? You already asked us that. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. I just want everyone to know that last night I caught my wife cheating on me with three black guys. So you're gonna have to bear with me. Prepare the cabin for takeoff. Wait, wait, wait a minute. That, that means that means this plane's gonna crash. I need to get off this plane. Wait, 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 come on. Uh, Ma Marvin, Marvin, Rose, Jeffy. Marvin, Marvin, Jeffy, Rose. I just had a vision that this plane is gonna crash. What, it's gonna crash? Yeah, I had a That's So Raven moment. We need to get off this plane. Okay, what about your wife? Oh, yeah. Uh, Karen, we're leaving. Come on, let's go. Oh, hey, look at that. I left my bag. See, isn't it good that we got off that plane? Why'd you make us get off the plane? We missed our flight. Yeah, what the hell is going on, Boiny? Yeah, what the hell is going on, Boiny? Well, I had a vision that the plane was going to crash. You daydreamed the plane crashing until you made us all miss our vacation? No, it wasn't a daydream. It was really realistic. Like, I punched this baby in the face, and then I came and sat with Marvin, and then the pilot said he was sad, and then he crashed the plane. It sounds like you fell asleep in your seat and had a bad dream. No, trust me. I could not have fallen asleep with that baby screaming at me. Boiny, you ruined our summer vacation. Yeah. Okay, well, you guys are going to thank me when that plane crashes. I don't think that plane's going to crash. Planes don't crash anymore. Planes are very safe. Look, the news! Breaking news, okay? A plane, during takeoff, drove off the runway and crashed into a building, killing all 180 passengers on board. Oh, my God! How horrible! Those poor people! Yes! Yes, I was right! Yes! Face, 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 face! Oh, yeah! You guys didn't believe me, but then I whipped out the dick of truth, and I was like, oh, all over you guys! Oh, yeah, I was like, the plane's gonna crash, and you were like, no, uh and then you know what happened? Meow! Pew!
it blew up, it crashed, and yes, I know I'm being a little insensitive because 180 people died, but I know five motherfuckers who didn't, right Marvin? Right? We are alive, yes, because of me, because of how right I was. I'm totally gonna use this at parties. I'm gonna be like, hey, you know that plane that crashed? I was on it until I got off because I had a bad feeling. I like making stuff about me. You know, like whenever I see a car accident on the news and I'm like, I drive on that street all the time. That totally could have been me, but it wasn't, but I'm still gonna make a Facebook post about how it could have been yummy the lights. Oh God, I love being right so much. Okay, Karen, come on. Let's go home and you make me dinner to celebrate how right I am. I cannot believe we just escaped death. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Boiny, your taquitos will be ready in about 20 minutes. Yummy, taquitos. I like those. I know you do, Boiny. Oh, Boiny, whose dollar and one penny is this on the counter? It's mine, Karen. Don't touch it. Okay, well, I'm just going to move it out of my way. Oh, 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 no! Boiny, Boiny, I dropped your penny down the garbage disposal! Well, so you better get it, goddammit. That's a 1997 penny. I like that year. Okay, Boiny. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no, I'm so sorry! Uh, uh. <laughs> ah! 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 Damn, Karen, what's all that screaming about? If you burnt the taquitos, we can always just get Uber Eats. Karen? Oh, oh god, you definitely burned the taquitos. It smells like a burning body. Well, Karen, I'm gonna go over to Marvin's house. Definitely not a strip club. It's definitely gonna be Marvin's house. Uh, no strip clubs for me. Just Marvin. Okay. Marvin, it's just so sad those people died today. We could have died. I know, but we didn't. We got off the plane, so just be grateful we're alive. Oh, hey, Dad. Look how high I'm jumping. Jeffy, no jumping on the trampoline in the living room. Oh, trampoline dick. Bound jumping down and shit. Seriously, Jeffy, people lost their lives. There's no mood to jump on a trampoline right now. What jumping on your trampoline makes me feel better. Dang, how high do you think I can jump? I think my wife burned Denny. You want to come to the strip club with me? I just saw my son get decapitated by a ceiling fan! Well, that's why we don't put trampolines under ceiling fans. There you go, buddy. What did we learn? You don't care that my son is dead? Well, listen, you're not the only one dealing with the dead body, okay? I'm pretty sure my wife fell into an oven and got cooked to death. You saw that happen to her? Well, I didn't see it, but I heard it. I didn't want to see it because I didn't want to be traumatized. But I'm also kind of freaking out because I saw this movie called Final Destination where some people avoid dying in a plane crash and then they start dying in freak accidents. And I'm pretty sure that's what's happening to us because my wife is dead, your son is dead, and I don't see your wife, so I'm assuming she's dead too. My wife might be dead? Yeah, probably. So I figure if we're gonna die anyway, we might as well die at the strip club, right? I mean, what's the worst that could happen there? A stripper's ass is too fat and it engulfs my head and I suffocate? Or I'm sucking on titties and they're too fat and I suffocate? That sounds like a pretty good death to me, Marvin. Yeah, I guess the best place to die is a strip club. Yeah, exactly. So, um, how are we gonna get there? Well, we can take my car. No, no, no cars. There's a car accident in Final Destination 2 and it's horrible. A log goes through a windshield. No, I don't want to deal with that. Okay, um... Do you have a bike? No, because then if the chain breaks, it might slit our throat, and I don't want to do that either. Why don't we just walk? No, no, because we could get hit by a car, or lightning, or another plane. No, that's no good. We can just call an Uber, right? Yes, yes, that's a good idea. I don't think death would kill an innocent Uber driver just to get to us. Good idea. Okay, let me call the Uber. Let me get my bowling ball. Wait, why are you bringing a bowling ball to a strip club? Because there's a bowling alley at the strip club, Marvin. It's called Tens and Pins, because you can look at Tens while you're knocking down pins. It's great. Oh, okay. The Uber's almost here. Oh, last one there is a rotten egg. Oh, no, 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 I'm going down there. Oh, no fair, I gotta roll my ball. I'm gonna make it to the Uber first. I'm not gonna be a rotten egg. Oh, 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 o
Ouch! Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would happen. Yeah, I am definitely in a Final Destination movie. I really gotta get to the strip club. Oh man, I am ready to die. Yes, I am. Oh, hey, what's your name? I'm Brooklyn Guy. Great, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just looking for something to kill me. Oh my god, are you depressed? No, I'm in a pretty good mood. I just know I'm gonna die soon. Oh, is it like cancer? No, no, it's gonna be a freak accident. <gasps> are you a psychic? Well, maybe. I did have a vision earlier that helped me avoid a plane crash. Oh my god, that's so cool. Hey, can I give you money to do stuff to me? Sure, but I have to tell you, I have... Have HIV. Oh, there it is. That's how it's gonna get me. I'm looking death in the face. Yep, I can't cheat death twice. You know what? I don't even think I want to. This is how I die. Hey, no touching the ladders. Oh, no, I paid. Oh, no, fuck, no, not like this. Oh, come on, no, it was supposed to be hot. I was supposed to die in the titties. It's not fair. Curse you, cruel death. <laughs>